All right, what I have here is a, a replication of a Dr. Stifler experiment that uh, I wanted to share with folks because he's been so kind to help us out at the Energetic Forum learn about this uh, circuit, the sex circuit, um, and this uh, whole idea of a transfer of energy through a, a different way than I'm used to and most people are used to. And this experiment that he showed um, is showing that there's a difference between induction resonance and capacitance resonance and the spatial energy cohesion theory that he uh, he has. And I've got my floating eyes right here. You can probably see them right there. They're floating on a little one strand thin wire. And let me turn my sec on. By the way, I got the sec on a regular board now, soldered. It's no longer on a prototype board because the prototype boards had capacitance built in and it was throwing things off. So he had us all change over from prototype boards to a, a, a real full-blown soldered up circuit. And that is the way to go. This is a basic sec 15-3. Uh, it's the one I like. It's, it's simple and I'm familiar with it. So here we go. Watch the eyes. Okay, now those eyes are being illuminated with the resonance going on between the coils in this whole spatial area here. And um, you can see down here there's an LED lit up that's not even attached to anything. It's just sitting there. This whole area here is energized with this exciter. It's exciting the environment around it. And if I move my little inductor, this is a tunable inductor, you can see these go in and out of resonance in different frequencies. And the reason I'm using this tunable inductor is you can go through a whole lot of frequencies in a hurry. Uh, the tunable capacitor uh, is a little slower, so I like this, this method here for what I'm doing. But the experiment that he showed, and I'm going to replicate here, is where you take the coil and you turn it 90 degrees to the other coil. Now, if this was induction resonance, those would go out. So would the eyes. So what's going on here is not inductive resonance. It's completely different. And um, I just wanted to share this because he took the time to give it to us and I wanted to show it. And you can see this is all, all um, energized. The whole area is energized. If I move this tower away from the eyes, they will slowly go dimmer and dimmer. Put this over here again. Get that back in resonance. Try this one more time. Okay, there's those stay on bright but those got dimmer. Now if I put my hand in front of the antenna right here, the tower, those just go out completely. It interrupts the transmission between the two towers. These two towers are actually communicating with one another and that was another thing that he wanted to explain was there is a communication between the two towers, these two top hat towers he calls them, and these coils. And when I put my hand between here the eyes go out. And these eyes, all it is is a couple of diodes um, hooked up uh, to these LEDs. There's no batteries in that at all. And it's just hooked up on a wire up to the ceiling and hung by this wire. But it makes a good, uh, a good demonstration. It's kind of a Halloween kind of thing, the floating eyes. But yeah, I, I wanted to share this with uh, the guys that are kind of struggling a little bit with this thing that uh, all this stuff does work, and it works exactly like he says it works. Um, I've had some trouble with his newer circuits, so I keep going back to the simple one, and that's me. There's nothing wrong with what he's doing. It's just uh, me. But uh, yeah, this does work. It's a very interesting phenomena with this uh, energy that is all around the environment of that device. It's all around. It even goes up and down this single wire here. And... Uh, I find this extremely interesting. Um, the theory behind it is probably way over my understanding capability, 
but I can build these things and share some of the stuff that I've learned with some of the other guys. And this has all been done on a kitchen table, um, kitchen countertop, and a living room table, and some very simple tools.